So after becoming a five-star prospect and signing with the University of Illinois, we finally got to campus and hit the practice field for the very first time. And let me tell you, it was rough. We were no longer the big man on the field as we weren't even the starting quarterback. Receivers moved quicker, defenders moved quicker, and it was a lot tougher to place the ball like we used to do. But that was all about to change. As through the first game against Arkansas State, we were only holding kicks. But finally, in the fourth quarter, we were up 31 to nothing. So coach finally decides to put us in for our very first time in a collegiate game, and we almost throw an interception. Second and 10, the very next play, Chicago rolling out to the right on the run as he would take it himself sliding forward. He would only pick up four yards on that play, back to throw to the left side. That would be completed, and that's a first down. Chicago making this drive a success already, but he's going down. As we would get injured on that play, but we would bounce back with less than a minute to go here. Across the middle, that's completed. This could be our first ever touchdown, and it will be as we go up 38 to 7 over Arkansas State as Chicago Robinson would come out in victory formation and would take a knee and we would end up winning our very first collegiate game of our career. After a pretty decent performance in our debut, we got a chance to battle for the first string quarterback position. Through the first week of practice and game, coach thought he saw enough in us warranting a position battle and we went out there completing pass after pass pass after pass and eventually with nine reps left we would complete this pass that would seal the deal and we would be named the week two starter for the team but before this next matchup we would buy an attribute update here up in our throw power and throw accuracy bringing us up to an 81 overall as that would bring us to the second game of the season and our first game starting as we were taking on FCS West on first and 10 our very first play of the game we're going to take this up the middle on the ground as Chicago would pick up the first down on his feet fresh set of downs across the middle this time completes a pass on the slant route this could be taken all the way to the end zone and it will be as we now have two career touchdowns already Let's go ahead and let's make it three as we complete that pass to the end zone. Our receiver was wide open. We're up 14 to nothing here in the first quarter. We're going to take this one on our feet, sliding forward for the first down. Second and in inches now. Chicago dropping back to throw, going across the middle, completes that to his tight end for another touchdown. As we're now up 21 to nothing, it's not even the end of the first quarter. Chicago back to throw risky pass that was knocked incomplete and we would be forced to punt next drive first and 10 little check down across the middle that's going to turn into some huge yards first and 10 now robinson in the shotgun back to throw going across the middle on the corner route another dart from chicago as that brings us into the red zone first and 10 robinson he's moving around showing his mobility he's out of the pocket and he's gonna fight his way into the end zone another rushing touchdown for chicago as we have another chance to score here in the third quarter and we're gonna do just that as we go up 49 to 7 just over a minute to go here in the third quarter robinson deep across the middle that's gonna be completed to his tight end again as that would put him over 300 yards on the day and we would end up walking away with a victory over our fcs opponent here with a big time 55 to 7 win 330 yards on the day four passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown in our first game starting not a bad stat line is before we hop into our next game we have another skill attribute we are upgrading again touching on the throw power and throw accuracy as we head into this top 25 matchup against arizona state a 83 overall we would go three and out on our first drive and be forced to punt Next drive across the middle, connecting with our tight end, who's quickly becoming Chicago's favorite target. Fourth and one, coach would want to go for it here, try to get the lead early on. Back to throw, moving to his right, pressure is coming as he's going to try to take it himself. He'll slip a tackle and get the first down. Second and three now, back to throw, across the middle to the end zone, and there it is, our first college interception. It was bound to happen at some point. 
That was not a great time to have it come as it's still tied 0-0 here. As that drive came to a halt and stop, we're trying to make this one a bit more productive. First and 10, back to throw. Deep throw down the left sideline. That's going to be completed. Inside the red zone, first and 10 to go. Robinson to the end zone, and there is the first touchdown of the day. We go up 7-0. Arizona State would go back down and tie it up at 7 apiece on second and four. Quick little hitch route. This is going to be taken all the way to the end zone. A quick little throw and catch turns into six. As we go up 14 to seven, moving to the third quarter here. Second and 10, setting up the halfback screen with some room to run. Another big play here down the left sideline. Will he be caught? And he'll be pushed out of bounds. As we would end up putting the ball in the end zone again on the ground that drive. First and 10 across the middle. That's gonna be completed to our tight end our favorite target. Third in inches as again, we would put another touchdown on the board on the ground. We're gonna convert on third down here. And that would seal the deal as we're gonna walk away with another victory, this time over top 25 opponent, Arizona State. 31 to 14 as 11 for 15, 279 yards on the day in two passing touchdowns. Not super dominant, but very solid play from the freshman. As one last upgrade into the last game here, that's gonna boost us to an 86 overall as we get ready for this game against Western Michigan. First and 10, dangerous throw there almost intercepted as next drive western michigan struck first up seven nothing this is completed on the slant route turning into a big play those yards after catch have been helping this offense greatly so far through the first three games robinson now on third and five he's going to take it himself sliding forward for the first down in the red zone here third and three not much more for a first down than a touchdown you can get here as we're going to throw. That's going to fall incomplete. And we would have to settle for a field goal as another third and three inside the 10. Robinson to the end zone. This time it's going to be completed for a touchdown. And Illinois would take the lead with that pass from Chicago as it's 10 to 7. Third and 15. Quick check down well short of the first. As another third down here. Still up by three nearing the end of the first half on the corner route. Our receiver will slip a tackle but he steps out of bounds. As we would end up tacking on a touchdown but missing the extra point as we move to the second half here. Picking up the first down on that play. Third and four looking for another conversion. Chicago going right side on the out route. That's going to be completed. First and 10 now. Still up 16 to 7 as we move to the fourth quarter. This game is a little closer than Illini fans would like to Mac opponent Western Michigan. His left side, that's going to fall incomplete. And then on third and four, our favorite target, it's the tight end on the seam route. First down. First and 10 after that pitch and catch into the end zone. It's another Illini touchdown pass from Chicago. As that would cap this one off for another victory. This time over Western Michigan as we open up the season 4-0 with a 22-13 victory. Through the first four games of the season, 965 yards nine touchdowns and one interception for the freshman. We're sitting at 4-0, top of the Big Ten Leaders Division. As next episode, we're going to open up our very first Big Ten Conference play against Northwestern.